Okay, someone asked me, could I give a run through of actually how I installed this dog basket? Well, as you can see, it is a dog basket. I've situated it where it's good for me. Oh, lucky you. Just as I popped in, the water's starting to kick in. And this bit here, it's a water feature. Third bath. <coughs> Which pumps from underneath there. Gets to the top. <laughs> Your birds would be happy splashing in that. You feel the jacuzzi like water flow underneath them. So, right, so there's the water just about to pour over. Pour over there, then it goes down to this massive tray I've got. And down there somewhere I've got an outlet which goes back into a fish tank which is below. Right, back to the bird feeder. So there's a dog crate which is, suits me because I've got a door opening there. I've got a camera there so I can film the birdies. But I've also got a door opening this side. So what you, you see is Perfectly good in and out gaps for the birds, but not the big birds. Tray on the bottom means all the ground feeders, all the food dropped stays there, and the robin and the ground feeders clear that up so it's not falling all over your garden. I'll put a roof layer in, and that's where you hang all the things from. So, squirrel proof. Pigeon proof, cat proof. Birds have got four sides, so if a predator came from one side, they'd be gone in the other three sides. There's no way you'd... that they could be endangered. Okay, I hope that helped. And uh, well, just an idea. If you have a dog crate like this, you may have a different garden than me. You may want to prop the dog crate on four poles leaving it off the ground and then an, an idea if you're a good handy handy man you could make yourself a, a rooftop that's a bit similar to similar to this one which you could make one and that could be a covering which I'll probably do later so keep a watch <laughs>